Hello, Color Theory. Welcome to Showing It Some Love with Omar Martinez. Today we're going to be making our four color silk screen self portrait. Um, at this point in our self portrait, we should have our graphics already done. We should have had, um, went through the color relationships, and now we are changing our four color spot color design into screens so they can go to press or to get printed a silk screen shop. So I am now an illustrator. I've assigned each one of my colors or values um, a Pantone spot. So this is uh, Pantone 347C, Pantone 258C, Pantone 172C, and then Pantone Black C. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it from Illustrator into Photoshop, and I'm going to assign each one of these spot colors its own plate so we can print out the screens and get rolling. First thing I'm going to do is I have this green background here. I'm going to turn this off. I just want to get all of my artwork. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go into my folder structure. Uh, in the beginning of the project you were given a workflow uh, for your self-portrait. Um, at the very bottom you have separation template. In this folder, you should see a um, PSD file called Silkscreen Separation Temp. I want you to double click and open this in Photoshop. In this template file, you will see that you have Pantone 1, Pantone 2, Pantone 3, Pantone 4 um, group folders in here. Each one of these folders has a text layer and a registration mark layer we will be adding the Pantone of that color into each one of these files. So before we can do that, we are going to add our smart object file in here. I'm going to go to Edit, Paste, or Command-V. I'm going to keep it as a smart object. I'm over here and hit Enter. All right, so now I have my artwork in here. Place your artwork, kind of send your artwork into the template file. Um, before I start separating this, I want to go into my quick mask, which is edit quick mask mode, Q. All right, um, by default, you should have masked areas. Red would be your color at 50%. I want you to change the quick mask options to selected areas and opacity should be at 80%, um, anywhere from 70 to 80%. Then we're going to hit OK. All right, if I go back into Illustrator, you see I have a uh, Pantone 172C. Go in here, I'm going to double click on my text frame. Hockey T. And paste that in there. So I have Pantone 127, 172C. Next spot color is going to be 258C. Three four seven C Pantone Black C. All right, so now if I go into each of my Pantones, I can see which Pantone color is going to be for that plate. The next step is I'm going to have to make a selection of each color for each plate. So in my smart object, I have all of my artwork there. I'm going to first select Pantone 1. So I just go to Selection. Selection color range, select my black. 
in here you have a black and white, so I can see the extreme contrast of my black and white. Over here is my quick mask, it's in red. So if I go at 200%, you can see I start picking up some of that purple. So I'm going to get it about 123%. So it's only the black in which I'm picking up. Um, it looks good to me, so I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to open up that Pantone 1. Within the Pantone 1 layer, I'm going to make a new layer. All right, my fill color is black. I'm going to make that black. All right, this is my Pantone 347C, and the 347C is the green, right? So I'm going to go in here, select my artwork, go to Selection, Color Range. I'm going to select the green. All right, I'm bumping up the range of this because the green's a little lighter of color. I'm going to hit OK. Now I have my selection, which is the green. I'm going to go into Pantone 2, make a new layer. All right, I'm going to first fill it in with green, which is my fill color by default. Then I'm going to hit D. My fill color will not be black. I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to pop that in with the black. Okay, let's turn this layer off. I'm going to go to Pantone 3, which is Pantone 258C. 258C is the purple. I'm going to go in here, select my smart object, which I pasted. Go to Selection and Color Range. I'm going to select the purple. All right, I'm going to hit OK. It is now a selection. I'm going to go into Pantone 3, make a new layer. All right. My fill color is purple. I hit Option Delete, and now it fills that in with purple. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to hit my hotkey D, um, which now my fill color is black. I'm going to hit Option Delete. And now my fill color should be black. I'm going to turn that layer off. Command D is to deselect um, your selection. I'm going to go to Pantone 4. Um, Pantone 4, you can see it is Pantone 172C. If I go back to my original file, 172C is my orange. So I'm going to go into Photoshop. Select the Smart Vector Smart Object. I'm going to Selection, Color Range, and select the orange. Once I select the orange, you should see only the orange color selected. I'm going to hit OK. I have my selection here in Pantone 4. I'm going to just go within that group, create a new layer. My fill color is orange. I'm going to hit Option Delete. And now my fill color should be at orange. I'm going to make a new layer on top of that. I'm going to hit my hotkey D. My fill color is black. With this layer selected, Option Delete. That layer is now black. Command D is to deselect your selection. So I want to turn my smart object off. Turn off my black layer on each of these. And I want to now open up each layer. I want to look at each layer. Turn off the black layer within each of these. Except for the Pantone one, because Pantone one should be black. Now. This is looking at your screens that I just we just made together here. You just want to check them out, make sure that they're falling in within place or they're trapping into one another. It looks pretty good to me. It looks almost identical to the artwork underneath it. So now, now these are all separated to screens. So I can go in there and turn on the black layer and turn off the color layer. Turn on the black layer, turn off the color layer. Turn on the black layer, turn off the color layer. And on my black layer, all we have is black. Now, when printing each screen for Pantone Black, this would be the artwork printing to my uh, to the inkjet. For Pantone 2, this would be the artwork printing. For Pantone 3, this would be the artwork printing. And for Pantone 4, this would be the artwork printing. This would be each of the screens that I would use to create my four color t-shirt. 
Now, um, the next step here would be to save each screen as its individual file so you can put your presentation. Hope this helped. Have a good one.